gangbangers, drug dealers, that's their normal. And they're not going to stop because they have an electric monitor on their leg. In Operation Crime and Justice, state lawmakers are expected to introduce legislation when they go back to work early next year, targeting repeat offenders. Well, the bill would require real-time GPS tracking for violent and repeat offenders out on bail. Fox 17 News' Kylie Walker joining us live from the Capitol with more on a pilot program and why some advocates are calling on tougher measures. That's right, and as you could imagine, public safety is a top concern for the community. People want it addressed. However, not everyone can agree on how we address it. Well, accused criminals on the streets with nowhere low bond arrested again. We've seen it time and time again. Repeat offenders arrested over the weekend. Repeat and violent offenders accused of committing crimes while out on bond. The offenders have already proven that they can't be trusted to do the right thing. The proposed plan from Tennessee lawmakers aims to address defendants with a violent history. It would build on a law co-sponsored by State Representative G.A. Hardaway earlier this year. It mandates some domestic violent offenders wear a GPS monitor while out on bail. If we can't hold them physically, that we hold them digitally uh, and be able to place our hands on them if necessary. And before bringing this proposal to the state level next session, Hardaway will start with a pilot program in Memphis. That's where he says almost half of those who are arrested today are repeat offenders. The electric monitors aren't a foolproof, and we've seen that happen. Verna Wyatt with Tennessee Voices for Victims says history shows an ankle bracelet won't stop violent offenders from committing more crimes. Specifically in Nashville earlier this year, we saw a repeat offender turn off his ankle bracelet and kill a popular rapper, Chris King. So how will your program address those issues? It's real time monitoring. Wyatt says she likes the idea of an extra layer of protection, but if that person has a long history of violent crime, she says they shouldn't be out on the street in the name of public safety. I, I see real time monitoring, but how long is it going to take you to get to the location, the last location that is known of that person? Now, Wyatt has spent the last 20 years working with incarcerated men and women. She says that trauma is a commonality, which is why she believes while locked up, those people need to get a lot of rehabilitation and therapy to end this cycle. For now, reporting in Nashville, Kylie Walker.